Hello, I'm in the closet. <laughs> beautiful people it is me Cecilia welcome back to my channel sorry for that weird intro I don't know I thought it was funny probably isn't funny but today I am here in my closet which is clean for the first time in fucking forever I am here to show you guys my bingo TBR for August now I am gonna be taking place in one readathon and that's gonna be a Disneyathon which I had to my, my name's that Disney chick I mean like duh so, I'm going to be on Team Mulan, which is awesome, and I'm coming to you in my disheveled, thumb-looking ass here in my closet because Team Mulan's, like, special ability is that you get to start three days early, which is in half an hour. <laughs> and I hadn't even made my TBR, so I was like, oh, cool, lit. Okay, let's do this shit. So I'm here, and I'm queer, so we're going to get used to it. So, I am on Team Mulan, as I said before, because y'all can... Y'all heard me. So I'm going to go over the challenges really quickly just to let you guys know. So we have Fa Mulan, book with a powerful female lead. Li Shang, book that features a squad. The Matchmaker, read a YA romance. Shan, Shan Yu. Shan, ah, I'm having a moment. I'm tired. <laughs> book over 500 page, pages. And Mushu, which is the group book, which is Spin the Dawn by Elizabeth Lim. I am actually really excited about it. I have no clue. I think there's like birds in it. I think there's birds. That's all I freaking know. Okay. But yes, I'm excited for this. We have our bingo card right here. And stay tuned for the end of the video because I have a new secret thing that we are going to be adding to the bingo a thon, which is going to be adding a sixth book. Ooh. In this cute happy Halloween sees candy bag. So stay tuned for the end of the video for that. It looks like this in all of its beautiful glory, which I know y'all can't see because. I'm too lazy to fix it. Alright, cool guys, we got it. Alright guys, we got a bingo. It is right across, which I feel like I've gotten this bingo like three times. Maybe it's just bingo fate. I don't know. But, oh god, my throat's on fire. This is what happens when you, own, when you don't drink any water, kids. Stay hydrated. All right, we're gonna go through. So the first bingo that I have is B10, which on my makeshift bingo board is this one. Read a book that everyone's been telling you to read. Hmm. Book that everyone's been telling me to read. Actually, this is gonna be perfect because the book club book. Wow, the book club book August, which I don't I haven't talked about that yet. So the Paige Shirley's book club pick for August is Sorcery of Thorns by Margaret Rogerson. Everyone has been telling me to pick up Margaret Rogerson and to pick up this one book because apparently it's fantastic and I'm ex so excited for it. So that's what's going to happen. And let's see, does it feel for any of my Mulan prompts? I mean, I believe there's a powerful female lead, so I could always do it for that one. So that one might be an option. I need to have a pen to write these down because I honestly am going to forget. All right, next one. What is the next one? I-17. This bad boy right here. This is read a book that was gifted to you. Do I have any unread books that were gifted to me? I don't know. I don't have, I don't, people hate me. So I don't, people don't give me shit. So I'll have to look, go look and see. So my mom gave me Fatal Throne, The Wives of Henry VIII, Tell All. This is actually by a multitude of authors. So Candace Fleming, M.T. Anderson, Stephanie Hemhill, Lisa Ann Sandal, Jennifer Donnelly, Linda Sue Park, and Deborah Hopkin. Each author, wow I'm winded, <laughs> each author narrates or um, a different one of Henry VIII's wives or writes them. So I'm curious to see how those are woven in and I've always been curious about Henry VIII's wives. I don't know. So, the book that was gifted to me, it was between this or the Hamilton Affair, so I had to choose one. And I guess this book features a squad, his squad of wives. His squad of wives. Okay, cool. Lit. Alright, now we have the free space, which is this beautiful one right here. And that is read a mystery or thriller. Ooh. 
We're switching it up. Okay, I see you. I think I have one that I've really been curious to read about, so I'm gonna grab that. Why did I choose to film in the smallest area of the house when I knew I'm gonna be getting up for this video? I'm pretty sure this is the only mystery thriller I have left on my shelves, and that is Night Film by Marisha Pestle. I've heard pretty good things about this book. I mean, this one, I believe, is about um, either the, there's like, I believe there's a girl and her father is a famous film director, and her death has something to do with his films. I'm not exactly sure. This book is long though. It's over 500 pages, but I'm excited to read this. And there's a prompt that's read a book over 500 pages. Look at me smashing these prompts so I don't have to read a million books this month. During the month of July, I literally have three days left and I've already read 17 books. So G51, which is this beautiful one right here. And this one's read a short story or poetry collection. Ooh, I have one for this. Let me go grab it. Looking at my shelves, I think this is the only short story or poetry collection I have left. And that's Black Enough, Stories of Being Young and Black in America by, or edited by a lot of authors, but edited by E.B. Zaboy. I've already read the first two books in this, but basically they're just a bunch of short stories by um, Black authors just talking about how it is to be a, a youth, a youngin in this day of age and being Black. I could totally, I could make, put this, I could work this as the prompt for Rita YA Romance because I know that some of the stories do feature romance, so fuck it, I'm counting it. <laughs> Alright, last one. Last one is 067, which is this pretty one right here. And this is read a road trip book or a book that features travel. Ooh. That's a random one. Okay, I'm gonna go look at my shelves because I can't, can't think of one off the top of my head, but I'll come back real quick. So for this one, I picked up Oh Africa by Andrew Lewis Kahn. I got this recently and I know, I don't know very much about this book, but I know that um, it features two brothers. Two brothers in a van and then a meteor hit. And they live in Brooklyn. They're Brooklyn immigrants and they travel to Africa for documentary filmmaking which I love documentary film ma making. I love like Africa. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I don't know. I just felt that this would be very interesting and I've heard nothing about it, which intrigues me even more. When I hear no hype about a book, I'm like more intrigued because I'm just, I'm just more interested about it, I guess. But yeah, this looks super interesting and I'm so excited about this. Why did I pick thick books? I feel like I picked th thick books. I don't know. Here's four and then um, Sorcery of Thorns. I just realized that I have to read these in order um, for the for Team Mulan, which means I'll be start, starting Sorcery of Thorns tonight, which I do not have. Uh, <laughs> um, I can get it on Audible because I have an Audible credit and start listening to it, so that could be my option. I think that's what I'm going to do. Well, that's it for that. So, time to get into the mystery bag. So, I have noticed that I suck at pick at continuing series. I don't know what it is. I love reading first books and then I forget to continue. So, in this bag, I put little strips of paper, recycled paper. All this shit gets recycled because we don't. We love the environment in this house. Little strips of paper are in here, and I'm going to reach in. There's novels, mangas, graphic novels, um, just to encourage me to actually read some series. So let me shake it up. And I want to make this a thing into every um, video just to make it more interesting. Okay, I have it. Monstrous. So I'm going to be reading Monstrous Volume 2 this month. Um, I believe it's at the library. If not, I'll just go sneakily read it in Barnes & Noble because I'm a heathen. Um, but yeah, I will be reading Monstrous as well. Awesome. Um... I think those were all the books that I wanted to mention. Um, luckily I set these off to the side because I start moving at the end of the month and I wanted to start packing my books up, but I wanted to put all the books to the side that I wanted to save. So I'm glad I was able to do this video and I'm glad you guys were able to watch it. So this was super fun. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Um, please like, comment, subscribe, and 
these are the most popular videos on my channel, so I hope y'all are pleased. <laughs> but yeah, that's it for today, guys. I will see you in another video. Goodbye.